Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so I, I just recently started using the Quantum Tuner. Um, I've never used it just because uh, out of the five or six playthroughs I've done, uh, I've never taken the Killing Moon save so me ending. Uh, this is the first time I've ever actually had the pleasure of using the Quantum Tuner. Uh, that being said, I'm not totally used to it or totally understand how it works. Um, just ironing, ironing out those kinks. In my last video, I was kind of bummed out that I had taken a bunch of cyber off. thought at first maybe it was the biomonitor or the electrifying projectile launch system that was causing the charge for this to go down when I didn't want it to. Um, but I think I figured it out. You see, I thought, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the Karenzikov. And I thought at first it wasn't because obviously the cooldown for this will reset uh, once you use the Karenzikov. Um, but I thought it would only take up your Quantum Tuner charge if, I mean, this is the way I thought it would work. I thought that it would only take up a Quantum Tuner charge if you attempted to use the Karenzikov again while it was on cooldown. Um, because obviously when you have the Quantum Tuner, you can use Karenzikov as much as you like up until you run out of charge uh, because it's the Quantum Tuner is refreshing or refunding the cooldown. Um, but that is not the case. I think it automatically refreshes the cooldown regardless of whether or not you try to use the Karenzikov while it should be on the six second cooldown. Um, so I'm going to test that theory. I slapped Biomonitor back on and I didn't, I just decided not to get rid of the projectile launch system, but I did switch it back to the electrifying. I just think that's the most, uh, given that I'm not going 20 tech, uh, and the electrifying one scales off cool. Um, and also just because I think it just does the most damage as far as crowd control and damage. And then also the, um, the fact that you can use, I think it's the best version of the projectile launch system using its Adam Smasher, because I'm pretty sure elect electricity is the only weakness he has. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hang on, let me, let me get my jam. Someone give me my jam. Ah, fuck. Where's my jam? Bro, this is, this is weak. Yo, this is so whack. All right, fuck it, no jams. They really do be like that sometimes. So as far as I can tell, I'm not using any of the Quantum Tuner. Um, so what this means, I guess, is that I'm not going to be able to use... Karenzikov. Unless I really need it. Ah, fuck. See right there. So yeah, right there, Karenzikov got... You uh, used up the quantum tuner. It's kind of just a force of habit now for me to use Karenzikov whenever I go into. Whenever I use the projectile launch system. Well, I do wonder if Axolotl will. I can't tell if it's recharging the PLS. I'm just going to call it PLS from now on. Projectile launch system is certainly a mouthful. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think Axolotl is contributing to the charge whatsoever. Also, I think electricity does more damage to mechs and vehicles. It's yet another reason why it's... ...ideal. I'm sure I've said this before, I'm not crazy about poison damage. And that just leaves fire damage. Uh, fire, a, f a fire PLS is really the only time you'd ever need that is if you're going for uh, an errata build. Yeah, I think I figured it out. I, uh, I, I'm pretty sure the fact that Karenzikov is auto refreshing, that's why I'm using up my quantum tuner. And I just want, I just want to have as much send devastan as possible or available when Night City's finest comes 
<laughs> oh, you got fucked up. Uh, just, I just want as much charges uh, uh, available as possible when Night City's finest comes uh, strolling in on their AV. I'm really glad I could use Biomonitor though. Biomonitor is just, it's just too good. It's just, it's simply too good. On, it's just too, it, it's just crucial on very hard. On lower difficulties, you could probably uh, get away with using inhalers or injectables, along with uh, no Biomon, but... Oh, God damn it! I used the fucking... Man. I used Krenzikov again. It's it's a real... It's it's a fucking force of habit Ugh. for me to use that. For me to use Krenzikov uh, while charging up PLS. Uh, call me fucking nuts, but the quantum tuner is charging. I guess that's what the heads-up display indicator is supposed to be with, like, the, the, the static. Yeah. Yeah, so I still have a wander rating, but it's recharging, so that's kind of cool. I'll keep that in mind. I wonder if that's intended. I, I think I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it is. Huh. Neat. Yeah, so whenever you see these the static on your heads-up display, I guess that's just the, the indicator for it. To let, to let you know that the quantum tuner is recharging. That's neat. So that's neat. So I basically I can just kite for a little bit instead of just completely disengaging, losing my wanted rating. That's good to know. Uh, I've also touched up my build a bit. The Borzai is good. The Borzai is good just because you can use the air dash to reload a bullet every time. Um, but I just, I don't think it does enough damage, and even then you still have to wait for the, the bolt action to chamber another round, and that takes some time too. Uh, the Resetsu, even though you can't use the air dash strategy, just does too, just so much fucking da -da 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 damage. It's hard to pass up. Somebody play my jam. <laughs> See, I'm pissed, because it says trauma, and that's a fucking banger, but it's not playing trauma, it's playing the summer of 2069. Fucking bullshit. Alright, this is a banger. Certified banger. Certified heat. Certified hood classic. Yeah, I think... Oh, no, that, that's a fucking banger. Alright. Uh, it's my jam. Someone play my jam. Someone play my jam. Hey, check this out, guys. Heavy. Dead. Gone with the wind. Oh, I didn't even have to charge it up. Yeah, right there. That's that's why I, I think it's bullshit that this only does 269. Um, oh, not even 246. Because, Jesus Christ, unless Deadeye is really fucking caring that hard, uh, that, that does not seem like 246. Hey, pal. Ascent Devastan. How rudimentary. Hate to break it to you, pal, but I got one of those too. Ooh! And style points. Let's go pay Max Tech a visit. Uh, so this is just a personal preference. I think when you fight Max Tech in uh, Dogtown, it's just a touch easier, because the grunts are just grunts. Uh, in Night City, they'll deploy drones. Dr drones, A, they're tankier. B, uh, not only are they tankier, but 
uh, they won't go down on dismemberment. Um, you can decapitate them, you can knock out a limb or two, and they'll they'll still keep coming at you, doing damage. And that is no fun. And while we're at it, should have done this earlier, but I moved around. Basically, the only thing that's different about my skill trees in this video, as opposed to the, sec the first one, is that I got rid of blades, just because I got rid of uh, dense marrow, as well as micro rotors, because I thought, well, why did I do that? Oh yeah, I did that because I got rid of uh, Biomon. But I, now I know that's not the issue. It's that goddamn Karenzikov. It's kind of lame. It's kind of lame. If, if it were up to me, I would code it so that uh, it would only use up a quantum tuner charge if you try to use Karenzikov again while it's on cooldown, instead of just straight up refunding it. No consent. Another thing that's neat about 20 bodies is that you can pick up an H HMG and bouncy bounce. You don't get that debuff. Unfortunately, it's only for LMGs, though. So that's kind of fucking lame. That's a banger. Oh, this this is my jam. This is my jam. Hell yeah, dog. Hey, yo, Max Tech. What to do, man? Where are they at, though? Uh, uh, uh. Hey yo! Hey yo, fuck your hood! Fuck your hood, man! You are off! Ops get no love! Bow, 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 bow. Oh, also, something else I've noticed. Not only are finishers bugged. But, uh, Die 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 is bugged. Before 2.1, you'd get a fire rate boost. Uh, and I don't think that that works. I think it, I think you either just get a improve up on handling. Although, I don't even know if that's proc, because I don't really know how you can measure that. Uh, 2.0, it, it definitely did bu bu uh, buff your fire rate. Doesn't seem like it does now. Well, so that was, that was no stamina. Here's stamina. Yeah, it seems like it's the same fire rate. Eh, it might be a little bit faster. I don't know. All I know is that in 2.0, when I was using Wild Dug's uh, fire rate boost on top of Die Die Die, it was just a fucking bullet hose. And it still is a bullet hose. But, I don't know, I think it's bugged. I've heard other people, I've seen other people uh, on the internet and on YouTube talk about it, so I, I know I'm not the only one that's noticed that. Just gotta really try and not use Karenzikov. That's really a, a fucking muscle memory reflex at this point. See, I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it does boost your fire rate. Oh, oh, nope. I almost shot that kid. That would have been bad. I may be a cyber psycho, but kids is where I draw the line. Shout out Postal 1. So, between these three weapons, I genuinely don't think it gets any better than this. When, you're, when it comes to raw fucking damage, I just, I don't know how... What? See, I've been playing this game for about 500 hours, and I'm just now realizing you can see your status effects. Instead of just the icon. And the weapon wheel. That's pretty neat. Gotta keep that in mind. Huh. Oh, I don't know Refresh did that. I thought it was just a... Huh, that's neat. Yeah! It's not the projectile launch system. It's literally just the auto Karenzikov refresh. 
That's such a bummer. I'm gonna have to train myself to not spam Krenzikov, or at least until I uh, run out of my quantum tuner. Cause man, I really think I can do some real, real damage. Ah, oh, fuck me. Real damage. Fuck! I use it again! God damn it! Alright, well. I mean, Wild Dog does a bang up job of DPS, but the fact that Obliterate gives you that insta kill chance is just what really pushes it over the edge, in my opinion. Let's see if I can't kite a little bit longer. Yeah, I see that Quantum Tuner going up, baby. God, I, I had, it took all of, every, every fiber in my body to not use Krenzikov just then. Anytime I charge this up, I, I, I'm conditioned to fucking use it. But now that our friends are here, let's give them a, uh, PLS shower. Especially our sniper friend here. Bow, 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 Hey, pal. I'm gonna have to ask that you cut that off. Oh, wait, that's not a sniper. Oh, oh, that's the sniper. And then, like I said in the last video, uh, I'll just say it again. The sniper is definitely the biggest threat out of the five max hack agents. It's weird, there's five different agents, but only four seem to spawn at once. Now, I can use Krasikov. And although Krasikov slows you down and the Sandevistan doesn't, for some fucked up ass reason, uh, Weapon, tech weapon charges are faster in Krenzikov. Does not, does not track. But hey, I'll take it. Knock that off. All right, I was going for the sniper first, but I guess you, you just really want the dick. I mean, look at, look at that fucking da 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 damage. One of four. Hey friends, I'm gonna have to ask that you guys refrain from fucking my shit right on up. Moving to dinner first. I'm not a full fledged fudge packer, I'm just a weekend warrior. Two of four. Or it might even be three of four. I don't know where that fucking sniper went, but they're sure as shit not in my face. But yeah, the sniper without question is the biggest threat out of the five agents. Just because they're the only one that can one-shot you if they manage to land a headshot with that Ashra. And by golly is that Ashra. It do it it do be hitting. Just imagine a fucking max hack sniper with uh, a grad. That would be uh, bad news bears. Four of four. Hey, y'all, max tag noodles ain't shit. I'm in your hood sipping tea. Y'all ain't doing fucking nothing. I'm just over here 
Use an infinite Deadeye, like nobody's goddamn business. If I catch another motherfucker talking sweet about the Melorian 3516, I'm gonna beat their ass. I'm in the barbershop. The 3516 ain't this. 3516 ain't that. Man, shut the fuck up! Y'all noodles don't know shit! Johnny Silverhand was knocking out Sokka agents back in... Man, I don't know when! Fucking Lamron and them. BDs and them. Aw, oh, fuck. That is unfortunate. That I, uh, canceled the... PLS. I really hope that Mantis Max Tech agent doesn't... Because it's tricky. You'd think... They, they move slow one second, then they pop their Sand Devastan, and all of a sudden, they're fucking just as fast as you are. God, that air dash is just the bee's knees. Oh, Jesus! Dodging bullets, you ain't Neo. This ain't the Matrix. Keanu Reeves is my buddy cop companion. Uh-oh. Hey, pal. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Not today. Yeah, I don't remember killing that sniper, but... Another wave spawn, so... Surely they must have died. Just look at that damage. Oh! Well, I got shafted there. Ah, oh, man. How embarrassing. Yeah, I think I think Mantis played agents are number two on the threat totem pull. Let's try that again, shall we? Also, even though the fucking PS5 is on performance mode, I think the frame rate tends to drop in the more busy parts of Dogtown. I was gonna play my jam, but honestly, the original soundtrack is banging too. Well, I'm glad I figured out what was causing the quantum tuner to... Say no to drugs. I'm doing this for video purposes, guys. I don't normally kill people like this. Ah, oh, fuck me. I just, I really want to use that goddamn Karenzikov. It's the bee's knees. Second to only the Sandevistan. Yeah, once you get this thing going, man, the fire rate is just... Just, mwah. Fucking mwah. It's like a fucking m m reflex. It's a muscle memory. Like I, I, I can't stop myself from doing it. It's irresistible. Oh, that wasn't the bubba bubba part. Also, super underrated guys, there's a bad boy right here. It's like only in effect when you're moving, but you should always be moving, so... Hey 
guys. Nice, nice of you to join us. Now where, oh where is that little sniper friend of mine? Oh Jesus! Frame drops McGee over here. That fucking Charles Schwab over here. Give me that delicious, delicious quantum tuner. Ooh, yes. Ooh, I love that quantum tuner. You know, honestly, I don't know how effective it is. I mean, it's it's nice having a back-to-back Sandeva stands, but I might honestly have better performance with one of four, better performance with a, a non-quantum tuner setup. But I don't know, maybe if I can master the whole kiting thing, I can get it to the quantum tuner to not be out of commish, one and done type deal. I mean, look at that! Look at the fucking damage on that. Resetsu. Underrated. If, if a kind gentleman in the comments would tell me what that means in Japanese, I'd I'd, I'd get a, a real kick out of it. I know the su suffix. Tsu usually means something involving water. Like, like Tsunami. Give me that dick! I want it! I mean, even if I don't use the Quantum Tuner to the fullest potential, it, it's nice at least having... free Krenzikovs every now and then, I guess. Would you fucking eat shit and die, please? Yeah, how you like that crowd control, cunt? Oh, those particles really uh hurt the frame rate. There we go. Pretty sure that's three of four. Hi, friend. Oh. How are you still alive? Oh, you're not. Okay, well. I'll take it. Four of four, baby. Going for 13. 12 is the record. I like how the grunts will uh, stop doing anything once they see Max Akis here. They're like, holy shit! Oh, that's not good. I always forget they have the Sand Devastant too. It is rudimentary after all. That is not the sniper. You know, instead of the sniper, maybe I should just go for the... Get the fuck out of here, dude. You guys are rude, man. I'm doing something here. 
Is that not painfully obvious? Yeah, hold on to these for me, huh? Oh, jeez. You are fucking squirrely. Hold on to these, please. Also, a lot of people think that smart targeting doesn't work on projectile launch system. And it does, just only at close range. However, I do thoroughly recommend it. If you're gonna go for PLS build, yeah, you, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have smart targeting. Here, grunty, 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 grunt. Hey, Jobber McJobberson, give me that. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so fuck. Oh, I'm so fucking dead. Not today. Ooh. How do you like those fucking apples? <laughs> oh shit. That was that was real real close. Much closer than would have been comfortable. You are horny. You are horny. Die! Jesus fucking Christ, man. I miss I miss that double jump. I miss it so much. That's five of eight. I wonder if this refreshes them. It does! Oh shit! Killing civilians will refresh the cooldown. That's neat. Hey, you're looking a little cold there. You, my friend, need to go. You have outstayed your welcome. Somebody get these fucking bozos out of here. Let me get these jabronis out of here. Bah! Bah! Let me get these bozonis out of here. You know, I've lost track of how many I've killed. I think it's still five out of eight, but they respawn, so. Oh, that was close. Whenever in doubt, guys, PLS. That's sweet, sweet crowd control. I'm pretty sure that's your head. So that's six of six of ten nine. Six of nine. 
Nice. <laughs> was he hiding? Was he cowering? I've noticed that there's been... There, there are quite a few uh, animations for uh, terrified or scared enemies, which is uh, a nice touch. This fucking game, man, it's, it's just full of shit like that, just tiny details. So right there you can see uh, the smart targeting didn't kick in until the last second. So I was not close enough. Fat boys should not have a Sandevistan. You should not be able to pull it off. Oh, I, I'm going to die. Psych. Seven of nine, baby. That was rude. See right there. I would have died. Why I didn't, I don't know. But we, what that big, big old burst of damage was just then was uh, sniper. Down from there, buddy. That is not where cannon fodder goes. So I know I've killed at least eight. I think I killed one and then they respawned, so one plus eight is nine. Let's just call that nine. Probably not nine. Probably gonna notice what it really is. Post the video. So that's all I got. Cut that out, please. Pretty please. Man, I think I got the assault operator down to half with just the PLS. Yeah, the Mantis, the Mantis operator is really a lot less of a threat with the crowd control. So I just need to kill these four. I'll be I'll break my record. I think. Oh fuck me! It's the one thing about crowd control, they can do it to you too. I'm gonna have to ask for you to go back to where you came from. Which is hell. Oh, look at that! I'm not the only one that can get fucked over by a large truck CC. Holy fuck! No! 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 Bad! Bad Mantis. 
Also, I know the alt fire for this is not the strongest, but it is still very good. Also, you don't necessarily have to reload, as you can see. You can just air dash. I try to show it off there, but... Go away! Fuck! God damn. So yeah, now that I know that civilians will proc axolotl, I'll start shooting them, I guess. I always used to avoid them just because I'm not a fucking actual sociopath, but... Did I really kill everybody? I don't think so. I don't think I... Technic... I... It, on paper, this should be officer number 13, but... I have a feeling it's not. Fuck out of here. So, yeah, I think I'm at 13 now. Might be holding a record. Just keep it going as for as long as I can, I guess. Die, 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 die. Okay, so that, I know for a fact now I'm at 13. That was 14, but now I know for a fact it's over my record. Yeah, snipers aren't that big of a deal now that I think about it. It's really the Mantis. I almost want to equip a melee weapon, or a melee arm, just so I can counter these fucks. With a parry. Oh, look. One time Voodoo Boys aren't shitheads. At least completely. The enemy of, the enemy of my enemy and all that. This is kind of fun, actually. I kind of just want to see the Mantis fuck them up. Hell yeah. It's fucking awesome. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Holy shit. Also, um... If you guys are wondering why... I'm... Going for... Grunt kills all the time. It's for... Not just for the... Axolotl... Axolotl proc for the cooldown. Uh... This nifty perk comes in handy for max tack involved situations such as this. Get that shit out of here. Hell yeah! Is that all you got? I'm 
I'm out of ammo for this, so. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Really want to pick those items up, but probably gonna die, so. are still here. I, I gotta fucking get reinforced tendons back on. I feel naked without it. Double jump is just too good. I don't think that surprises anybody. It was fun while it lasted. The Leroy, the Leroy's, the Leroy ligament system is certainly fun. It's certainly good. It's just. Doesn't hold up to the powerhouse that is reinforced tendons. Even without the infinite double jump exploit that got patched out in 2 1, it is really, really, really good. That's gonna kill me. Oh, I, I should be dead. I should not be alive right now. I might get rid of the PLS just so I don't get the frame drops. That is that is pretty annoying. I am dead. I know I've said that at least ten times, but... Oh, I don't know, maybe... No. Eh, better late than never. Hey, pal. Ah! Well, there goes that, I guess. Well, there you have it, folks.